Yo, welcome to this video. It's your boy Jonathan Belcher about to be dropping some crazy information on you today. I'm hyped up. I'm excited. I hope you're having a great day today. We're going to talk about some things because I've been hearing a lot of murmurings, a lot of talks, a lot of conversations, you know, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. People are talking about December 21st, which is today. Right now, live and direct, you're getting this video today, December 21st, 2020. Supposedly, people are talking about, oh, this is going to be the end of the world. You know, people are scared of the end of the world, and they're talking about how Jesus is about to return and all of that stuff. So, what is going on? What's all of this about? We're about to do the breakdown today in this video, uh, because what I'm going to share with you is going to be some things that's really going to liberate you. It's really going to help you to have some rich perspectives that's going to transform your life transform your results and it's going to help you to break through whatever barriers whatever type of bondage you've been held everything i'm going to share with you in this video is going to help you moving forward especially because today is an extremely significant day nonetheless right nonetheless so before we start with that we're going to start with the daily affirmation i am rich i am financially free i am financially prosperous money flows to me effortlessly and abundantly i am wealthy i am healthy I am love. So today is December 21st, 2020. It's the winter solstice. So that basically represents the onset of winter. A lot of my videos, a lot, in a lot of my videos, I speak of the importance of learning about universal laws and things that happen in maybe the, the astrology or in space and stuff like that because you have to understand that you have a connection to the universe because you come, you're literally a part of it. You're a part of the earth, you're a part of the universe. You come from here. So at the end of the day, a lot of the secrets for you to get to where you need to be and live out your purpose and your destiny has to do with you understanding the universe and where you stand and your connection to it. So today is a great way, is a great day for you to start to understand that stuff and see the importance because whether you want to see it or not, things are changing. There's a shift happening today. There's a new beginning happening today. There's new life happening today. There's new businesses happening today. New ideas coming up about today. New relationships are coming about today. So today is a great day to start anew, to start fresh. Today is a great day for you to hit the reset and realize that you are powerful. You can do whatever it is you put your mind to. It doesn't matter about who said you couldn't do this, who you said who said you couldn't do that. And the reason why is because today, what the significant the significance of today. The significance of today, you know, you sometimes you got to slow down. This is a time to just slow down, you know. The significance of today is Jupiter and Saturn is aligning, right? They're lined up. So what that means is this is the first time that this has happened in over 200 years. So Jupiter and Saturn are lined up at zero degrees, basically representing infinite potential and limitless possibilities. So what does that mean for you? What that means for you is right now, if you take advantage of this present moment in your life, as I know and I understand, you know, this year has been tough for all of us. All of us, we've been going through struggles. We've been dealing with this pandemic, a lot of chaos, a lot of misleading information, a lot of people losing loved ones. We've been through a whole lot this year. You know, a lot of famous people passing away. 2020 has just been from the start from when Kobe Bryant passed away, it's just like been bad news after bad news after bad news, more negativity. It's been seeming like for the whole 2020 damn near, you know what I'm saying? So we all have been experiencing some type of stress, some, some form of stress on a certain level because of just what's been going on in the world. It has to impact you at some level. So I understand that. I get that. So if you've been going through issues and you've been going through struggles and you've been going through hardships, understand that it's okay. Understand that it's not something wrong with you. But now is the time to make a new decision because the shift is happening whether or not we want it to happen. In my video a couple days ago, I was talking about the law of the transmutation of energy, right? It's one of the universal laws. Today is that day where energy is transitioning. And literally, we're transitioning from an earth sign period to an Aquarius sign period, right? So an Aquarius which is air sign, right? So we're going from earth, from an earth sign period to an air sign period, which means a massive shift is happening. You know what I'm trying to say? Like think of the numbers like 21, 2020. You know what I'm trying to say? Like today's supposed to be the day. Now people talking about the end of the world. <laughs> people talking about the end of the world. Um, well, 
the, it's going to be the end of your world if you let it be. But in a literal sense, no, it's not the end of the world. Clearly, right now, I'm doing this video. If And that's what's always crazy to me. It's always fun, funny to me when Christians are saying, like, yo, on this day, the end is going to happen. Didn't you read the Bible? It said you're not going to know the hour. You're not going to know the day. When the uh, Jesus is going to return, you're not going to have any of that. You're not going to have a clue at all, right? All we can speculate on is we can see... Uh, relations between what's going on in society and the Bible and we can say all right it looks like the end times but we don't know because the end times it could be for another two million years another thousand thousand years another five thousand years you know what I'm trying to say but so it's not literally the end of the world right but this is a time a renewing for you this is a rebirth for you if you let it be a time of rebirth for you that's the main point of what I'm trying to tell you this is a time for you to make a new decision because it's a new beginning in the universe and at the end of the day, literally every single over 200 years was the last time that this happened over 200 years ago. So think about that for a second. Think about the power in that and understanding that now is the only time you have. I want to express this to you and stress this to you because this is so important. This is something that I didn't understand years ago. The importance of the present moment, the import importance of right now, because all you really have is right now. If you want to create a better tomorrow for yourself, you have to take advantage of the right now. If you want to create a better next 10 days for yourself, you got to take advantage of the right now. If you want to create a better year next year for yourself, you got to take advantage of the right now. Next two years, next three years, if you want that to look better for you, if you want to start to get closer to your dreams and manifesting what you want, this is the era for manifestation. It's the era right now. It's the perfect time for you to start dreaming more. It's the perfect time for you to start believing in yourself more. It's the perfect time for you to launch on that business you've been wanting. It's the perfect time for you to launch on that product, create that song, uh, partner up with that person, learn from that mentor. Whatever it is you've been having in your mind that you've been just thinking about all these years and you haven't been acting on it, the time to act on it, I'm telling you, is now. If you want to change your life for the better. The time is now. The time is now. The time is now. All you truly have is the present moment. Forget how yesterday, how you failed. Forget how yesterday, how you made a mistake. The girl broke up with you. The guy broke up with you. He played you. She played you. Forget all that. Forget all those people. Right now is the time where your power resides because it's a powerful time. So figuratively, figuratively, in a sense, and like I've been having a lot of deep conversations with people lately. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, that's why I'm so passionate talking about this. Like, I've been having a lot, of, I've been attracting a lot of deep people. And we've been talking about some really deep stuff having to do with the world, society, spirituality, and stuff like that. And it's like, if you really open up your eyes and you pay attention to everything going on, you'll realize that there is a shift going on. You know, even with the politics, even down to this pandemic happening that literally is affecting the whole entire world. That in itself is a major sign that a shift of, of some type of shift, even deeper than a physical level, something spiritual or something is happening. You know, unfortunately, many people have passed away. Uh, so this shift, we all see it. We all see the signs of it. You know, uh, Trump getting out of, out of office, replaced now by Biden, who will be the president, and Kamala Harris, who's going to be the vice president. The first time we've ever, I think, seen a vice president, a woman vice president. Uh, so think about that for a second. Think about that. In, in the physical, you're seeing the changes. You're seeing that some type of shift is happening. But the question is, how do you take advantage of the shift? How do you take advantage moving forward to create the lifestyle you want to, to live better moving forward? Well, I'm going to be honest with you. It's still going to come down to hard work, discipline, and belief. But the good news is that now more than ever, your dreams are possible. Now more than ever, you can manifest what you, to, what you want to manifest more than any other time before because it's a new beginning, literally in the sense of the universes are aligned in a, set, in a way where they never aligned before. Not never aligned before. The planets are aligning in a way where they haven't aligned for over 200 years. So that's a clear sign that now's the time. So the changes that you're probably going to be seeing in the future is Probably more reliance on technology. I've been talking a lot lately about technology and how I think, you know, the technology is just going to get very, very powerful. So the changes that there are going to be a lot of changes happening that a lot of people aren't going to like. So you should expect to see an opposition of some sort or a clashing where 
things are changing and, and we're going into the new, but some people want to keep the old in place. You know, and there's going to be good reasons, good things that come about come going into the new, but there's also going to be bad things that come about going into the new. So there's that as well too. This is a time of high frequency. This is the best time right now to vibrate at a high frequency. If you want to take advantage of today, work on your business, make a new decision, write out that business plan, write on out your goals, your visions. This is the day to do it because this is the new day. This is the new beginning for you. This is the day because you're going to accomplish everything you've always wanted to accomplish. You're destined to do it. Only if you take advantage of now though. Only if you take advantage of the shift that's going on. See, the shift is going to happen whether or not you move with it. The times are going to go forward whether or not you decide to move with it. But it's a matter of deciding of, look, we have the internet now. We have technology now. The internet is going to start booming more than ever before. Like I've been saying, I've been saying it over and over again. Check out my old videos. I've been telling you for years that... The internet game, making money online, is kind of a new thing. It's still new. It's still in its baby stages. You're going to see people, new millionaires come about, new apps being launched. You're going to see new technology being created. You're going to see new things that you never thought were possible being created from the minds of the people. So the time to tap in is now. The time to tap in is now. The time to tap in is now. That's the time to tap in. Because... What you're going to see is, you know, if I have to give you, a, if I had to give you a vision of what I think is going to start to happen, I think it's going to be more of like, you're going to start to see more small businesses be, become important. More community start, type service become more important. People are going to start understanding the importance of humanitarian work and being philanthropists. And people are going to start understanding more of the power in working together and uni unity, you know, like. Because money and basically materialistic things is taking us away from our spirituality. When we get too greedy, when we focus on money too much and make that our God, what starts to happen is things start to go bad and then we start to get reminded again of what's important again. And then our values and we start to come together more and we start to build more and we start to share ideas more, we start to strategize more, we start to work together more, we start to trust one another more. Like, this is what's going to start to happen. But also, it's a time where you're going to have to protect your individuality. You're going to have to protect your individuality. Because as much as there's a shift, that means that there's a large, massive way and shift of thinking. You know? There's going to be a large shift in thinking. So if there's a large shift in thinking, now... This is a time for you to make a decision on who you truly want to be and what you're truly here to do. It doesn't mean that it doesn't mean that you have to go crazy thinking about this. This is not something that you have to the signs have been showing you. Things in your life has been showing you what you're here to do. You've been the signs have been showing you, things have been showing up in your life and trying to tell you what's going on. Trying to tell you what your purpose is, what you're here to do. Things have been happening in your life. But you got to pay attention. You got to pay attention to what people have been telling you. You got to pay attention to how the way you make people feel. You got to pay attention to the relationships, the dynamics of the relationships you have. You got to start paying attention to all of that stuff. Because when all of that stuff comes together and you start to figure it out, that's going to be everything you need that's going to make you rich. That's going to make you reach your destiny. That's going to make you manifest everything you've ever wanted. When you start to figure out your placement here. You know what I'm trying to say? And understand that one thing leads to another, that leads to another, that leads to another. So this transition of energy that's been that's happening right now that we see going on, December 21st, 2020, this transition is extremely, extremely powerful. You're going to probably see some weird stuff happening in the future. Some things that you've never seen possible because the veil between dimensions are thinner than ever before. They're thinning out the veil between dimensions so that means things will be revealed things shall be exposed a lot of the truth shall be come to the surface and we know that when this type of stuff happens it creates like this divide you know what i mean and and, and this divide is what you know the bible talks about you know the, the statue of Nebuchadnezzar, where daniel had the dream and he saw the statue and then down at the feet of the statue was the feet of clay right because the feet of clay represent the strong versus the weak so no matter what, 
we all gonna have a we all gonna have to choose at this time what side we want to be on you know uh and but i will say this right this is the greatest time to dream this is the greatest time to believe in yourself faith having hard work being disciplined the thing about discipline being disciplined is very important because your discipline is going to kick in on the days when you don't feel like working. On the days when you don't feel like when, when things get a little hard, you're going to still do what you got to do because you're disciplined. On the days when you don't feel to so good, you don't have the high level energy as normal, you're going to still do what you need to do and execute and take action towards your dream because you got discipline. But realize in the midst of all of that, there's a shift happening and you can take advantage of this shift to make sure that you live a life beyond your wildest dreams moving forward. And, and this is the time where I want you to realize that. And if you've been liking this video, I want you to drop a comment below. I want you to drop a comment below saying, I am more powerful than ever before. I am more powerful than ever before. I am more powerful than ever before. Drop a comment below. So, you know, they've, they was also talking about, I've been seeing on Twitter, they was talking about, um, you know, black people are supposed to get superpowers on December 21st. Um, I mean, you, you got to believe in yourself no matter what. You're supposed to believe in yourself no matter what. If you do your research and you do your, you dig in your history and you know who you are, where you come from, you know you're super powerful no matter what. You don't need a date to tell you that. You know what I'm saying? But that's a myth, you know, that we're going to just magically have some crazy superpowers. No matter what, we should take advantage of this day. We should take advantage of the now no matter what. You know, even as a people, we got to come together more, stop, stop the killing so much. You know, we, we tend to, we lash out when the cop kills somebody. You know, we go so crazy. Oh, how the cop killed the black person unarmed. But you know what? At the end of the day, we got to take responsibility for how we live in our communities too. We got to do it. We got to do it. It, it. It's a must. It, it's a must. You have to do it. You can't acknowledge one thing and not acknowledge the other thing because the other thing is in-house. So if you ain't right on the in-house don't expect somebody to respect you out of the house. You get what I'm trying to say? That's what I'm basically trying to say. But uh, Jesus returning, I mean, he ain't here yet. I don't think you know the date. I don't know the date. You know what I'm trying to say? So let me look at my notes really quick. All right, so another thing is this, right? This is a good day to meditate. It's a good day to get your start to get your chakras aligned. You know, things of that, that type of stuff is going to get more important. Getting your mental health right, getting your spirituality right. This is what's going to become the cool thing now. You know what I'm trying to say? It's always been the cool thing, but getting your chakras aligned and all that type of stuff at a time like this is going to make you better. It's going to make you vibrate at a higher frequency. So that's naturally going to give you superpowers. You know what I'm trying to say? That's naturally going to make you more in tune. That's naturally going to make you better at your craft, better at your work. It's naturally going to make you perform at your highest level. When your chakras are aligned, your heart and your mind is in harmony. You know what I mean? Your, your, your third eye is peaking. When all that stuff is going on, you at the best state you could possibly be in. And this is a time where all of that is going to be much easier to do. It's going to be much easier for you to accomplish your dreams if you want to. It's going to be much easier for you to hit that goal if you work on it, if, you dis if you're disciplined, if you're consistent. So everything that I've been talking about on my channel is starting to make sense. I've been talking a lot about the government, technology, censorship, um, politics. And the reason is because there's a change happening. And if you don't open up your eyes, you're going to miss it. And you're going to be stuck for the next year, for the next two years, the next three years, four years, five years. And the whole world is moving past you. Everybody's moving past you. Everybody's following their dreams and they're making something happen. Making new money, making new businesses opening up LLCs and all of that stuff. All of that stuff is possible. This is not the time to be holding your dream inside your heart and not sharing it with the world. This is not the time to be hiding your talent and holding it in that, you know, that safe inside your room and nobody knows the combination. You don't even know the combination because you're afraid to let somebody hear yourself. You're afraid to expose who you are. You're afraid to expose your, you know, your gifts and your talents. This is not the time for that. This is the time to be free. This is the time to open up. This is the time to open up so the abundance can come in. And I'm real excited for what's to come. You know, like, I'm real excited for what's to come. Uh, because when there's a new beginning, that means that new prosperity, prosperity is going to come and, and new uh, things are going to come about. That's going to help people. It's going to help you at the end of the day. You know what I mean? So drop a comment below. I'd appreciate a thumbs up on this video. 
Make sure to subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell notification so you can be notified whenever I make videos like this. This is your boy Jonathan Belcher. Make sure to share this video with five friends or family. Um, I just dropped my, my little journal here, right? I just want to make sure. I want to go over my notes real quick, right? So this is also known as, this is what's called, I, I forgot that last part. <laughs> I actually wrote a little outline today because I, I believe that this deserved uh, me to go topic by topic kind of, you know, like subcategories and stuff like that. I had to write down in journal. But yeah, so this is called the Great Conjunction. You know what I mean? With the Jupiter and Saturn aligning, this period is called the Great Conjunction. And it's going to be massive moving forward. You know, like, I just want to stress to you, what I'm really trying to stress to you in this video is that you got to launch on your ideas. You're going to have to launch on your dreams. The time is now to do it. You can't put it off till tomorrow anymore. You can't keep putting off your gifts. You can't keep get putting off what you're supposed to do. You can't keep putting off the changes that you need to make. You can't keep putting it off because the shift is happening whether you like it or not. The transition of energy is happening. Remember, energy can't be created nor destroyed. The transition in that's happening in the world is happening whether you like it or not. So figuratively, yes, in a sense, it is the end of the world. It is the end of the world as we knew it before. As we knew it before, as we've seen a change, we're going to see a changing of the guards. We're going to see a shifting of perspectives. We're going to see a shifting of values and culture. We're going to see all of that. And you're going to see that the internet and small business are going to boom like never before. So if you're not a part of it now, if you're not benefiting learning skill sets, if you're not getting with a mentor, getting into business and learning these things, you're going to miss the wave. You're going to miss the wave. You're going to miss it. You're going to miss it when it comes. Because we're still in the baby phases of making money online. We're still in the baby phases of you becoming a millionaire online. We're still, it's still possible for you to accomplish your dreams. It's still possible for you to get out of being in that rut, hate, you know, working at that job that you hate so much. It's still possible for you to quit your job. It's still possible for you to do every last thing you've been wanting to do. But for some reason, you've been keeping yourself away from doing it. For some reason, you've been blocking yourself away from doing it. But here in the 300 to Freedom Movement, we're not doing that no more. We're not doing that no more. We're here to live out to our fullest potential, to our fullest potential, planting seeds, harvest, reaping harvest, and maintaining and nurturing the soil so that we can repeat it and do it again next year and not have to starve, not have to worry. This is your boy, Jonathan Belcher. I'm gonna see you in the next video. Peace.